Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest, sorted string that contains three strings. It is one of those problems in which if you look at, okay, there are three strings, the constraint is small, so let's apply DP and come up with solution. If you go down that route, this will be very difficult. Instead, if you start with the basic, you will start with brute force and see, okay, if needed, you will optimize. That path, if you take that path initially, you will be able to solve this in much easier and quicker manner. So with that, let's get started. The problem states that you are given three strings A, B, C and your task is to find another string that has minimum length and contains all the three strings as substrings. And if there are multiple such strings, you have to return the lexicographically smallest one. So for example, let's say there are three strings is A, B, C, B, C, A and A, A, A. Your task is to come up with a string that contains a, B, C, B, C, A, A, A as substrings. So one such, subs one such string is A, 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 B, C, A. You can see it contains all the three strings as substrings. For example, it has A, A, it has A, B, C, and it has B, C, A as well. So you can try other combinations and you will see you will be not be able to come up with another string which is lexicographically smaller than this and still contains all the three substrings. And hence, this is the result for this particular uh, given three strings. So hope the problem statement is clear. Now, think of how you will apply brute force. So we have these three strings and we have to make a resultant string which contains all these three strings and substrings. Now, does it make sense like to waste any characters here? Notice you need to find the minimum length, right? So it doesn't make sense to waste any characters here. For example, you will never say that, okay, I have this A, B, A, A here and then I will put some X here randomly and then I will have something else. Because you want your string length to be minimum possible, you will not waste anything at all. So in naive way, what you can say, okay, I will pick that, uh, I will first pick the first string, I will then pick the second string and then I will pick the third string. So that is still good. That might not be the optimal solution, but that is still good because you are, you are not wasting any characters, right? Now, because you are not wasting anything, can we say that the prefix will always be one of these? The answer is yes, right? Because you are not wasting anything. It means you have put at least one of A or B or C in, in front, right? And because you are not wasting anything, you will have either B afterwards or C afterwards. So basically either you will have first A and then some B and then some C or you will have, okay, first B and then A and C, basically all the possible permutations, right? So let's say you fix one permutation, A, B, C. You are saying that, okay, I will be forming a string that will contain first A as substring and then it will contain B as substring and then it will contain C as substring. So can you find the optimal string which have this permutation? I would strongly encourage you to pause and try to think of this particular problem by yourself. Basically you are trying to find a string that has first A and that has then B as substring. So what would be B? So B is B A B, right? So in this case, there are three possible conditions. So either you will put BAB afterwards, right? Or you will say, okay, BAB might be already existing here. So let's, uh, for simplicity, let's assume that this is BAA, right? So in that case, you can see BAA already exists here. So in that case, you will not be appending anything at all because you want minimum length. And if BAA already exists, that's the best thing that you can have, right? So this is second case and third case can be, okay, I will have some overlap. For example, let's say this is A, A, B, just for example. So in that case, you can see A, A is already existing. Now you can simply append one B. And in this case, this A, A, B would then uh, be a substring, which will complete B as well. So hope you get the intuition. Basically what we are trying here is after picking the first string, we will start fitting the second string in this first string. 
three condition can happen either the second string will fit completely here in that case all good you don't need to do, you don't need to do anything you will just move forward with the third string or it can fit at some suffix so it can like some suffix of this string will share some prefix of this so in that case you will just append the remaining part of the string and the third case can be it will not overlap at all and in that case you will have to put bab completely here right so based on these three strings uh, th these three characters you will choose one of these so in this particular example you can see bab doesn't share like doesn't come inside this at all neither it shares any prefix because if you say uh, it is a a something and this will be a something so it doesn't share any prefix at all so in that case you have to put b a b completely right now once you put b you will do the exact same thing with c as well so for c as well you have b a a c you will try the three th things again you will say okay if b a a c completely fits inside the current string that i have if yes all good we don't need to do anything if it doesn't fit i will see okay can i share some prefix if yes then i will share that and only append the ones that are not present and the third case if the if none of these are there then you will uh, simply uh, put the entire string so in this case as well you there is no common prefix because if you see this will not be like this is not matching this is not matching not matching not matching this is matching b a but then there is a so this is also not matching this is not matching and this is matching so basically you have just one common prefix that is good so you will just append a a c afterwards so this is the resultant string that you get if you want to have the strings in this order in the very same fashion you will try adding the strings in all the permutation and whichever gives you the minimum possible string length that will be your answer right so let's just take one last example to make this a bit more clear let's say we want to have the permutation as b a c so basically we will put this string first and then this string and then this string right so let's just uh, quickly iterate over it uh now we have to put this string first so with this string we will simply put b a b all good right now we need to put this this one so we will try sharing as much as we can so can is it sharing three characters no is it sharing two characters yes it is sharing so in that case you will put this here in other words you will put you will just append a and a here right now comes c so again you will take this let's get rid of this you will again see if it is completely matching is it matching no matching no matching yes and just one character is remaining so you just simply append this c here so this is the resultant string that you form and if you uh, remember this string is much better than the previous string so you will uh, neglect the previous string and this will be your new answer so you will keep on doing this for all possible permutation and whichever is the best that will be your answer now what will be the time complexity of this entire thing what we are doing we are we are iterating over each permutation and there are three strings so the in total there will be three factorial permutation right or in other words there will be six permutation for each of this permutation what you are doing you are appending the strings right so basically you are putting this string here and then for sorry so and then for any other string for example let's say you have to put this string you are matching this so this matching will take like for this matching you have to iterate over the string or again and again so if you start with this one you will say okay is it matching if it is matching in worst case what can happen is it will match until the second last point so this matching will take order and time first matching and then in the same fashion you will do second matching third matching fourth matching and so on and so forth so basically for each matching you will be doing order n square operation right where n is the length of the string now finally you will be getting some string out of it and you will do one more matching afterwards so for that matching as well you will be requiring order or you will be doing order n square operations so in total you are doing order n square operations for each of these six permutations and that is 
acceptable because n is only up to 100. So this even this brute force solution would pass. I am not showing you the pseudo code for this because it is very straightforward. You just have to um, make sure or you have to make all the permutations and then ex apply the algorithm that we have just discussed. Like put the first string which is whichever is there in the first permutation and for the other strings just try matching and share as much as you can. So I hope you have tried coding this yourself at least once. Next we are looking at the code. The code is very straightforward. What we have done, we have uh, maintained all the permutations ABC, ACB, BAC, BCA, CAB and CBA. Right? Now for each of these permutations what we are doing we are trying to find out the best string possible. So this R will contain the best string possible and we have initialized our answer with A plus B plus C. So this is the uh, answer that we know of currently. Now for a given permutation let's say ABC for this permutation what we will do we will simply find out what is the maximum matching possible. So whether it is fully matching like whether if the string is BAA then it is fully matching right you don't need to do anything else. So we will check whether it is fully matching or fully contained in the uh, current string. If it is not we will we have to find out what is the max overlap that it can have. So for example if the string was BAAC it can have an overlap of 3 right. So that's what we need to find out as well. So what we will do we will simply start iterating over all the string like we'll start iterating over the string from position 0. We'll keep on matching with the target string and as long as they match we will keep on incrementing our R index and S index. Now if S index is S length it means we the given string S completely matches within R in that case we have found one full matched. So we can break it from here as well but I am not breaking it just to uh, make the code clean. Now second case can be R index equals to R length. It means you were matching and after matching you encountered the end of the R. So this is our R and this is the S we are trying to match. So wh when we are matching we, we see okay B match, A match, A match. So we encountered the end and end we encountered the end of the R and in that case you know that this is the best possible match you can have and you will simply append the resultant or the uh, the will simply append whatever is remaining. So that's what we are doing we are trying to find out the minimum last index possible. So if why minimum because we want as much match as possible. So if uh, the index is minimum it indirectly means that we are matching the maximum possible characters. Now once we have iterated over this we will have this full matched and min last index. Full matched will contain whether it is full, whether the current string fully contained in the current target string we are we have prepared. If that's the case we don't need to do anything we will simply continue. If that's not the case then we have to append something and uh, we have to append exactly those many characters or exactly those that suffix which doesn't match. For example in this case if three characters match we have to apply we have to append everything after three characters in this right. So that's what we are doing and notice that we have uh, uh, min last index is r dot length. So basically in other words this will be 0 if uh, none of this match this will be 0 in a which will in turn mean that you will be appending everything right. So hope this this loop is clear basically after this loop you will have R built out for a given permutation. Now once you have R built out you will compare this R with the current answer you have. So if the length of R is equal you will just take the lexicographically minimum one. If length is not equal you will check which have the smaller length whichever has the smaller list you will, you, will that, you will pick that up right. So hope this entire solution makes sense what we are doing again we have this n square logic here inside this. Uh, we have this uh, third loop as well which is which can be considered as n cube but uh, this can be done uh, this entire loop can be optimized by using uh, hashing or any kind of uh, uh, tree data structure. So I will leave that up to you uh, to optimize this that can be an interesting follow up. So this entire thing will be done in order n square into 6 or order n cube into 6 both will pass because n is very small here. So 
a follow up as we have discussed is to optimize this loop uh, this would be straightforward you can try that out as well um, so hope this entire solution makes sense if you have any doubts in this problem feel free to post that in the comments below i would be happy to answer if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one thank you